hello everyone in this video i'll show you how to stick any element to a different object using procedural particle system like in this case i am sticking uh, arrows uh, to the grounds or to the animated characters a like kind of war scene you can stick the bullet sold to the walls or to the vehicles uh, you can also use this uh, technique in the technical product visualizations so let's get start so if you have assigned extra nodes as asset library uh, then you can add the particle system from the asset browser here just drag this into your scene something like that and let's go to the geometry nodes so we have this setup and this always come with this default meter and this setup so let's quickly uh, delete these things uh, because we don't need this emitter and these uh, forces and let me also hide this arrow we going to start with this arrow example we going to stick these arrows uh, to the ground and to the animated object in the end i will also break down my projects while how i stick those arrows to the animated character and bullet holes to the wall so let's hide this and we don't need this so let's create a plane and from this plane we're going to emit some arrows so let's rename this as arrow emitter and let's move this something like that this plane as our emitter object so this is the overall setup for this particle system i have explained many times in my previous videos let's focus on this node so in the first simulation settings we have to increase the time step because we need a faster motion however you can also keyframe this uh, time step to create a uh, cinematic slow motion shots means if you want a slow motion shot just uh, decrease this time step okay and in the emission we are going to set this range from 1 to 50 frames for the emitters because our emitter is not animated so we can disable this option and also we need to decrease the particle density so in the particle settings we have to increase the lifetime of these particles also we have to add the velocity so let's add the five normal velocity velocity along the normal of the this emitter object for this velocity this vector velocity we're going to use uh, the vector scale node and then we're going to use the random node so that we have some variations in the velocity to create some spread uh, with this so let me around 0.25 is enough yes this is fine let's here add the gravity because we are simulating this scene on the earth okay so let's check this nice so we have these particles uh, they are go like that and then come to this ground uh, now let's also add arrow instead of this cone so let me bring this arrow uh, so this is a basic arrow model i have created something like that because uh, we are instancing on the point so i move this origin to around here so as they uh, stick to the surface this arrow head will be inside the surface okay use this as instance and now we have these arrows let's add the ground plane let's move this plane somewhere here where these arrows are hitting this ground level okay so this is our ground and let me select this particle system and pin this option and now let's uh, duplicate this stick force node then add this geometry to this and then this to the this so there is a, a little note here uh, that shows that the collision hit force stick force node particle collision node should be at end of the force chain okay so keep that in mind now let's bring our this crown here and connect this to the stick surface now let's see arrows are sticking to this ground and right now they are pointing along the normal of this uh, ground but you can also uh, point these arrows along the velocity of the particles i'll explain in depth later in this video so let's first focus on these settings so first i'll show you that offset origin thing so now 
the region is here below this uh, arrowhead now if i go to the edit mode and move these so you can shift this accordingly okay now let's understand the settings of these uh, stick force node the first setting is the animated so it means when the stick surface is animated like there is a character which is moving then you have to enable this option and you have to provide the uv map for that animated object now for example if you have a uh, two object one is static another is animated in that case you have to also enable this option and provide the uv map for the animated object only so let's add a monkey here and then animate this So now let's bring this Suzanne here and then join them and then add to the stick surface. Now let me show you the problem. See these arrows are hitting this monkey but they are not sticking to this monkey which is animated. So that's why we have to enable this option and we have to provide the UV map uh, for this monkey. So it has this UV map and that is here. And we can also remove the UV map for the ground or rename something else. So in this way you can basically exclude this plane from the calculation by defining a different UV map uh, from this name. So now let's see if we go to the first frame. See now these arrows are sticking to this monkey and they are pointed along the normal of the mesh. Then you have the side option means in which side the particle stick. So right now these particles are approaching from the front side and they are sticking to the front side. However if the particle is approaching from the back side that will not stick to the surface if the back side option is disabled. So you can enable both sides by enabling these both options or you can choose one of them as your effect. And after that we have selections. So you can provide the selection per particles means whether it going to stick to the surface or not. Or you can also provide this selection on the surface. Okay. For that you have to enable this option. So let's first add the random node. So now this random value or selection is on per particle is not on the surface so some of the particle will not stick to the plane see we can just change the seed see some of uh, them is sticking to the surface some of them are not sticking to the surface now we can define this selection on the surface instead of per particle and then we're going to use this option let's add the vertex weight to this monkey you can also use uh, different uh, geometry nodes to define this mask and use that attribute to define this selection. Okay, that can be even uh, dynamic. So now it has this vertex group. So let's add the named attribute node and then add the group and then plug that into the selection. And after that, you have to enable this option, evaluate now the particle is only going to stick to this monkey but not to the ground because the ground don't have that selection or that attribute see they are not sticking to the ground okay you can define this selection on per particle on the surface or on different surfaces after that you have the option for the void so you can choose the distance or the size of the particle when the particle is sticking to the surface. So for that, let's use the icosphere. Uh, that is a really good example to see this effect. And let me also decrease this size to 0 0.1. See now they are sticking at the center of this icosphere. So now if we enable this avoid option and use the distance option. So let's add a 2-5 distance and you will see that the particle uh, will stick this much distance away from their center to the surface. Okay. You can also use the size of the particles. The size we have defined here.
or you can also use this option switch stick direction so right now they are sticking to the front side of the surface if you enable this option then it's going to stick to the other side or the back side of the surface okay so this is really handy means you want some kind of special effect so you can use this option so now let me disable this option so next is a rotation so in this case you have two options normal and velocity by default it is using the normal of the stick surface to align these particles okay so in the output side you have to basically enable this option let me for the moment uh, disconnect this and use directly this rotation so right now we are aligning this along the normal however if you want to use the velocity of the particle or the hit velocity means when the particle hit the surface and you can use that velocity for the alignment as well so let's enable this option and let's see this let me go to the top view see as these arrows are hit the monkey they are keeping the same direction according to their velocity also rotating and moving with this monkey okay so in different case we need to align them along the surface normal or you can use the velocity okay and keep in mind that you have to enable this option for these alignments and on top of that you can also add the particular rotation so now these arrows are also rotating uh, with this angular speed see they are rotating and in the end you have the distance option so distance threshold uh, this option is basically when this stick force doesn't work properly means some of the particles may pass through the surface you can just increase this threshold to improve that or you can increase the sub step of this uh, particle system so these are the settings on the input side on the output side it uh, output two flags is stick and stick flag is stick is a continuous flag means when particle stick to the surface this flag become true and will remain true for whole life of that particles so let me show you that so you can also access these flags inside this particle info node so let me show you these flags so let's rerun this simulation see these arrows are black or their flag is false uh, but as they stick to the surface their flag become true so this is is stick flag see this is also true for this monkey and stick flag is action flag that you can access with this action node particle action node that going to be only true when particle just stick to the surface so let's see that this flag is true and in the next frame it become false so you can use this flag to basically run the second motion means you can create a secondary particles or you can create a secondary motion for different object so you can use this uh, flag and it also provide this stick time this basically a clock that will start when the particle stick to the surface so you can use that to basically run the secondary motion in the particle info node you get the stick frame the frame on which the particle stick to the surface and these two nodes the particle info node and particle action node are also available in the shading side so you have this particle info node and particle action node and you can get these flags here as well so you can use these flags create a different materials for these objects so let me show you the is stick flag with this with this shader so let's add the multiply node here and use this is stick flag for the strength and let me make this around maybe 500 something so that will be really bright see these arrows are black but when they hit the surface they become white 
so with this you can basically change the material of these arrows like when they are hitting a some kind of character and you want to make the front part of that arrow red or kind of a blood type you can do that so this is the is stick flag and if i use this stick flag you will see that these arrows become create flashes see this flag is only true when the arrow is hitting the surface you can also use this stick time uh, to create a secondary motion means uh, we can use this to let's say animate the strength of the submission texture it is zero and after let's say 50 frame it become let's say 50 or maybe 100 or something you can see that their strength is increasing with time and this parameter is per particle so they have their unique clock so there are many many things that are possible with this particle system so this is the main settings of this stick force node now i'll break down my project files how i stick these arrows to those animated characters and how i stick the bullet holes to the wall see these arrows are emitted uh, from a plane and then they are uh, sticking to this character and also to this ground see everything is same i have just uh, combined these two together on the ground plane and the animated character so for this character i have created a low poly version of this uh, just to stick uh, these arrows and for the rendering i used this high poly version so let me show you the low poly version so this is the low poly version of that character so it make things faster and i have added this uv map for this animated character only not for this crown okay so for the animation of this character i have first check when the arrows are hitting this character then offset their animation accordingly at this frame the this arrow is approaching this character and when it is hitting this this motion get start uh, this is uh, just a manual uh, work because we have a limitation in geometry nodes because current version of geometry node doesn't support the animation so however it is possible to offset this kind of animations with the animation nodes uh, but in this case i have just uh, manually offset the animation of this uh, character another thing is that for the angular velocity i used this is stick as selection so i don't want the arrows to have a rotational velocity when they stick to the surface they should have a zero angular velocity okay now i will show you how to stick the bullet holes uh, to the wall so here you can see that i am sticking these particles to this plane this background plane after that i have separated the points which are on this wall and instance the grid this circular grid onto this points and added uh, this bullet hole texture so with the combination of uh, these noise and spherical texture i have created this bullet holes and animated it is uh, mission strength with this stick time means they are slowly fade into black but when they are hitting they have this high emission and after that they fade into black just to create some impact with this bullets another thing is that you can separate the points which are on the wall and you can use those points to create a mesh based impact onto the background plane so this is it i hope you learned something uh, from this video you can get these project files as well as my other project files from my patreon page uh, thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye